Hello everyone. Today I'm going to take you on a journey as I uh, attempt to make an Easter Bunny tumbler. Um, I'm going to use this uh, stainless steel, it's a singled wall mason jar tumbler that I've got. So what I'm going to do first, well as you can see what I've done is I've taped off the uh, top part that the uh, lid screws onto because I don't want to get any paint or Hyperion on that. So I've taped that off and now I, I just want to have a, a base coat put on my tumbler because I'm actually going to be um, experimenting with adding some paints so I just want but I, I need to have a good base color first so that the stainless steel isn't showing through so I'll make sure to put a good coat on the top or on the sides and the bottom I'll let that dry for half an hour and then we'll go to our next step there very well could be a name to this technique I'm not sure um, but I, I knew I didn't really want to do an ombre. Um, I want to incorporate two different colors together, um, the, the pink and the yellow. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting on a coat, an, an extra coat of the strawberry shortcake. And again, it's the Aurora 3-in-1. So I'm putting a coat on the bottom portion of the tumbler. Um, I, in hindsight, I should have moved a little bit faster, but I was kind of thinking as I was going. Um, so I'll put this coat here on and then I'm going to, next is I'm going to start by adding the yellow on the top portion. I like to keep, uh, I don't use paper towels when I can get away with it. I just have a cloth that I keep washing over and over again. Um, just no reason, but that's what I'm doing today. So I just kind of, I want to keep using the same brush. So I've used, I've just wiped off the excess uh, pink and now I'm going to go in with the custard and I'm going to add that on top. So I'm still, I still probably have some pink in my brush, but it's what I want to do. So all I'm going to do is butt up the yellow to the pink and do the top portion of the tumbler so that I've got pink on the bottom, yellow on the top. So earlier when I said about putting, the, I took too long to Put the paint or the pink on it dried up pretty quick so I actually have to put on another coat of pink so I'm just washing out my brush a little bit with water and wiping off excess paint excess water and then I'll quickly add another um, layer of the pink paint and now that both of them are um, still the both of the paints are still wet now I'm going to blend the colors together To blend the two colors together, I've dipped the same brush in some water and then I've topped off the excess on my cloth. And then I'm just going to start at the bottom of the tumbler and bring the pink paint up over top of the yellow. I'm going to keep topping off on my cloth because when I come up to the top, I'm going to be left with yellow, a lot of yellow on my brush. So I'm I don't want a lot of any one color because I'm trying to blend them together. So I'll just keep tapping it off. I'm tapping it off on the same paper so that actually I've still got a blend of both the pink and yellows on the cloth too. So it just, it helps bring the colors together. It's not really an ombre look, but I still, you can still see both pink and yellow um, together blended really nicely over the tumbler. If I have to add more paint on my brush, I can do that or um, water. The water just kind of helps the paint move around a little bit. Um, but if I don't like the way it's blending, I'm just going to add a little bit of more paint onto the brush and then just keep blending until I'm happy with the way that it looks. I want a nice consistent look all the way around, but I really like how the, the pink and the, the yellow are going nicely together. I just feel like I've got too much pink there, so just I'm just going to tap off my brush and Add a little bit more yellow and keep blending it in. So I put this aside and I'm going to let it dry uh, for about half an hour. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to apply the, um, my glitter. So first I'll have to apply my Helios uh, 2 Crafters Glue. So I'll give it just a nice good thin coat all the way around the tumbler. You just want to brush it on smooth. You don't want any thick lines or anything. You just want a nice, 
even coat of the glue all around the tumbler. After getting a good coat of the glitter glue on, then I'm adding my glitter. This is a fine glitter. It's almost like an iridescent and it's so pretty because it's going to just pick up just beautifully the colors underneath. I'm, I'm loving the way that this is starting to look. It's exactly what I was hoping for. I'm just going to make sure that uh, the tumbler is fully coated, knock off the excess glitter, and then just make sure that I cover up um, everywhere. There was a small part on the bottom, but actually I'm going to have that covered, so I wasn't too worried about that. And then um, I've waited about half an hour, and then I'm just going to press the glitter into the glue. This is an important step. You want to make sure that you're pressing your glitter firmly into the glue for a couple of reasons. One is so that you still have your glitter left on your tumbler so that you're getting the look you wanted. But also you want to make sure that it's nice and firmly pressed down so that you're, when you put your Hyperion on that you, you're going to have a nice smooth surface to start. So after I've done that, I'm just brushing off the excess glitter. And after I've done that, then I'm going to apply my my coat of, it's I'm going to seal the glitter. So I'm going to seal it with the same stuff that I used to apply the glitter, which is my Helios 2 uh, Crafter's Glue. So I will just put that on and then uh, spread that out nicely. And then I'll let it sit for two hours. So I've let it dry for two hours and you can see here how obvious it is how that glitter glue it dries so crystal clear it's just beautiful I, I love how it lets the glitter shine through. So now we're just going to add um, a coat of Hyperion. I'm going to be adding vinyl in another in the next step so I don't want to add the vinyl directly to the glitter so I'm just going to end up adding a, a coat of Hyperion so that I've got a nice surface that I'm working with. I find it just much easier. So I'll add the Hyperion. Um, I'll, I'll add a good flood coat of that. I will let it spin for one hour and then I'll let it sit for another hour before we proceed to our next step. So for the next step I've used my Cricut. I've cut out uh, my, my bunny here with uh, the vinyl. I'm using permanent vinyl. So I'm just trying to figure out the placement of where I want it to be. Now, the, the everything I'm going to be doing is going to be coming in steps here um, because part of it actually it really becomes like a peekaboo in a way. So I'm just going to figure out where to put the, the face, the ears, and the bow. And then I will take off the backing and then I'll apply these to the tumbler. So I'll take off the transfer tape. I want to make sure that it's all removed because my next step, I'll be overlapping. So I don't want to forget the transfer tapes, of course. So we'll remove the transfer tape now before the next step. Now, even though I lined up the face, the ears, and the bow, so I knew where they wanted to go, I'm only applying the face right now. So the next step is I'm going to be applying the, um, I, I guess it's, technically the eggshell. Um, I was trying to make it look like the bunny was coming out of an egg. I'm not so sure that that's what it ended up looking like, but it still has a super cute effect. So all I did was I just use um, stencil. Uh, this is Cricut stencil tape and I just cut by hand the, um, the jagged edge there with the peaks and that and then I'm just putting that over top of the face. I used this stencil tape just because uh, I wanted to be able to make sure that I was placing it over the face good. So I've cut out a bunch of flowers, um, and I'm and again this this whole cup is an experiment. I saw it somewhere on quite some time ago, and I've just always had this image in my head, and I've wanted to do it. So I'm just kind of still playing around and doing it as I go. 
So I cut out a bunch of flowers on my Cricut and some of the flowers have got the outlines and some are solid. So I'm kind of using both and I'm just going to place them randomly around the cup. So some will be just the outline, some will be the full flower. And I'm just going to play and see how it looks. I've also made sure to mix up the sizes of um, the flowers as well. So I have um, some a little bit larger than others. And then I'm also, you'll notice here that some of them are overlapping the uh, first piece of uh, vinyl that I've put down. And that's okay because, again, it's just part of the effect that I want to give. So I'm just, there's, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just placing them everywhere. So now I've got everything where I want it to be. I'm going to get ready to apply my second layer of glitter. So I just need to add the glitter to the portion that's exposed, that's not covered up with the uh, stencil. So I'm just adding glitter or glue to the top and the bottom. You'll notice here that I've removed my masking tape. I did end up cleaning off the top of the tumbler at one point and I just forgot to put the... Uh, tape back on but I will be adding it again before I add the Hyperion for sure. So I've got a good coat of glitter on or glitter glue on there so I'm adding my glitter. This is such a pretty glitter. It's a chunky glitter but I am really liking the way that this is looking so far. So I've gone ahead and I've let my glitter and the glue dry for half an hour. So now I'm going in and I'm doing the important step of the uh, pressing the glitter into the glue again. Uh, you never want to forget this step, especially with the chunky because the chunky is a little bit harder to cover up with the Hyperion. So you want to make sure that you press it into your glitter glue as much as possible, getting it as smooth and even as possible. And then as always, you brush off after you've done that, you'll brush off the excess glitter before adding the coat of Hyperion as your sealing coat. You just want a nice thin coat. All you want to do is just seal the glitter in. So you don't need a thick coat. You just need it thin so that you don't lose any of your glitter. So I've let the uh, glue dry uh, for about two hours. So now I'm just going to come in and I'm going to peel off all the uh, stencil vinyl. Not going to lie, it was a little bit tricky to see them because guess what? I'm using blue glitter and blue vinyl. You would think I'd learn from my lessons now, but you know, alas, I don't think I will ever learn, but I love a challenge. So let's carry on. And being as I don't lie, I'm going to also tell you that I probably left some of the stencils behind and that's okay because it's easily fixed. You won't see it underneath the glitter, so that's okay. Just don't tell anybody. So I've removed some of the flowers. I know some of them overlapped, so by peeling this away, I'll see where the other ones were. And because I had that coat of Hyperion down, that's why this vinyl is coming off also so nicely so that I'm being left with my little peekaboo bunny. Some of the vinyl does rip a little bit underneath the glitter, but I just go in with my pen and, and pick it out. It's coming along so cute. I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far. So previously I also cut out some of the same flowers I did before. Um, this time I cut them out in white vinyl. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some transfer tape to them. And then I'm going to go and place the outlines over top of where I peeled off the other uh, stencil. I'm going to line it up as best as I can. And where I can't find the ones that I didn't peel off then that's okay I'm just going to add some extra ones I'm going to also end up adding some down in the uh, the middle as well so 
So I'll just keep randomly adding the outlines of the flowers. I do have some others cut out that I'll be coming in a little bit later on to add. Um, but for now, I'm just adding the outlines um, randomly around until I'm happy with what I see visually. And then we're ready to um, add the ears and the bow. So you'll see now why I didn't want to add the ears and the bow earlier because the bow have to be over top of the ears but I wanted the ears to go over top of the uh, blue eggshell there at the top so I'm just going to add those now and position them onto the tumbler to finish creating his cute little face So I've cut out the same flowers again using pink and yellow vinyl and all I'm doing is I'm going back and forth and just randomly placing flowers along around the whole outside edge. Um, sometimes I'm adding um, like a solid pink and then um, using like either a white outline or a yellow outline. Sometimes I'm changing up the color of the inside of the circle. Sometimes if I don't like it, I'm removing the flower and adding a different color. I'm just literally playing around um, to try to get a look that to me is pleasing. So I just, I'm just randomly adding them as I go and changing them up if I feel like I need to, to give it a little bit more pizzazz. It's all about personal choice, but I cut out extra flowers because I knew that sometimes I was going to use the outline and sometimes I was going to use the solid part of the image. Once I'm satisfied with the placement of all the flowers and that it looks the way I want, we're going to go ahead and start the finishing touches of the tumbler now. So I've added uh, masking tape to the top again so that I don't get Hyperion on the top where the lid's going to screw on. And we're just going to go ahead and add our Hyperion over top of the whole entire tumbler. Um, in between coats, we're going to let each coat dry for two hours. I'm going to go ahead and put on three coats and then I will give it a, a good level sand. I tend to remove the masking tape quite a bit on these tumblers because by the time that you add glitter, your Helios Crafters glue, levels of or coats of Hyperion, you can get a little bit bit of a build up especially when you have the tape there so I keep removing the tape and uh, just clean up the edges a little bit. Um, I'm using a 220 grit sanding block here. It doesn't need a lot of sanding. It's really so smooth that I, I didn't have to do a lot of um, extra effort here. So I'm just going to sand it up and then I'm going to just use some surface cleaner to um, give it a good wipe down and then dry it off and make sure that there's no sanding dust left behind. Then I'm going to give it a good coat of Hyperion and I'll let it dry for two hours. I'll put on one more coat and we will see from there whether we need anything more or not. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've had a few things in this in this video, we've done blending two colors together. We've done a peekaboo, added glitter, we've added vinyl. Um, the lids, I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to add some rhinestones to the lids. So stay tuned for that and see what happens. Thanks for watching.